I'm Kate Ryba, and I'm in my second term on city council in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Marsha Murph, and I'm with Spartanburg County Parks Department. Matt Manley with the Mary Black Foundation. Laura Ringo, a nonprofit called Partners for Active Living. Kim Moultrie, Parks and Recreation Superintendent for the City of Spartanburg. Wanda Cheats, Kaboomer. <laughs> And also a rec specialist for the city of Spartanburg Parks and Recreation. Woohoo! And today we are rolling, rolling, rolling down the river. Um, we are here. Let me, I don't even know how to use the clicker. Are we on there? Team Spartanburg and our bold goal is to increase community pride, retain young professionals, and attract young families to live in the city of Spartanburg. And our big idea is to reconnect our community to its water resources and create opportunities for play, education, and environmental stewardship on the rivers, creeks, and streams throughout the city of Spartanburg. So, our top five countdown to our bold goal and big idea, actually it's going to be a count up. Number, did I get, hey, uh-oh, I had a moment, like, all right. Oh my gosh, it is um, having fun here. All right, number one is our history. Uh, number one. <laughs> Spartanburg, South Carolina was a booming textile town for many years and the numerous textile mills were established along our rivers. The textile industry began diminishing in the 80s and continued until every single textile mill was closed, causing a serious loss of community stability and vitality in our area. So our new purpose, the rivers were ignored and abused and people were discouraged from using them. Spartanburg was struggling to find its new purpose and in the early 2000s small efforts began by individuals seeking other uses for our blue ways. Now there are lots of organizations involved. Um, so our, according to The Last Child in the Woods, Children today suffer from nature deficit disorder. We want to fix that in our community. And the city of Spartanburg, just so you know, is one of five communities in the country that was selected to participate in the Way to Wellville effort, which includes goals of reducing obesity and increasing community pride, tying in very nicely with our bold goal. Where are we? I can't keep up with all this. Our plan for outreach in the city because of the success of the Blue Ways efforts across our county, the idea was formulated to utilize Lawson's Fork Creek and Fair Forest Creek, and let me tell you, they are as big and long as many, as, as many uh, rivers that you might know in your own uh, communities. So, some lakes and existing parks we're gonna use too. We've got Duncan Park and Cleveland Park, really awesome um, lakes in our community that we can have our children play in and number four. number four love where you live that is a campaign in our community and we're going to create these outdoor experiences utilizing our natural resources and it will be a substantial improvement to the quality of life for our people in our community and what what have we done and what we're going to do we already got blue way partnerships underway in the county and now we're going to have them in the city as well. And we're going to use that Love Where You Live campaign to start that up. We have two stream restoration projects already underway in our community. And we already have people using our, lake, our rivers for kayaking and water play and swimming and fishing. We want to create access points to existing blue ways within the city. We want to establish a signage program with ideas for what kids can do at these access points, and we want to create a nature play and water play program within city parks programming. So, Spartanburg takes a leap, and Spartanburg, like every other city across the U.S., must look to what we have in our treasure chest. Our lakes, creeks, rivers have been hidden treasures for far too long, and it's time for our children to discover these shiny treasures which have been locked away, and we're going to turn those kids into pirates and sea captains and mermaids and miners for gold and water sprites in general. So think like a river and splash like a creek. 
thank you so much, Team Spartanburg. Do you have a question for the panels, or would you just like to get their general feedback and recommendations? We would love any feedback. Okay, great. So I think this was a great example of how you could use playability to use an underutilized asset that your community has and leverage it also as a competitive um, kind of advantage or value proposition for people to come into your community either as businesses, new families to move in. So I'd love to hear from our panelists, maybe starting with Stockton, if you had a first remark. Sure. Great presentation and a wonderful idea. It sounds like actually you have a number of ideas. Which ones will you start with? Yeah, uh, there are, since we do have a couple of stream restoration projects already happening, what we want to do is uh, take this idea and implement it along with those. And so there are uh, some uh, conceptual designs for uh, stream restoration that's running through uh, a community park. Um, the idea is to have a little beach area and some rocks and so kids can go down and have you know an inviting place for them to come and interact and engage in the creek um, and so we really want to start there and use that as a model there are a number of neighborhoods and parks in the city that have creeks running through them and so we want to try and remove the barriers um, to this there's but, some of them are very hidden and tucked away and we want to make them exposed Ben The great presentation. Uh, so we've gotten into this concept that's called, uh, the, the, or it comes out of this book called The Lean Startup. I don't know if you guys know that at all, right? But the idea of build, measure, learn. And I would say because you have such an ambitious plan covering a whole lot of land, is that try these small experiments and see actually who, who takes them up and go with the ones that people come up and don't try to come up with a big master plan. Dr. Lee? Um, I was going to say, um, just uh, great, I think, trying to utilize this resource is underutilized, right? So, um, you know, in New York, one of the things was actually increasing access to the water as well. And now we've got, you know, kayaking stations, et cetera. But I think thinking not only about the access points to the river, but also the connectivity of those access points to different uh, areas of the city. And wherever you can build in, I think... Um, active, playful connections along the path to those access points would, I think, be really great as well. And I think that would really help to increase both the activity levels as well as, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the access points along the way could also help with things like um, economic development, right? Uh, they could become active transportation corridors. So thinking, I think, uh, about those elements too. And then we have time for one last remark or comment from Dr. Pruitt. Sure. Just a, a quick thought. You talked about lots of universities and stuff around there as well. You might think about teaming up with one of the biology departments to incorporate active learning. Um, you know, water, water sites are, are huge areas, and, and you could really help propagate this by turning out a bunch of little aqua biologists, uh, you know, learning what, what, what's in the rivers, what's in the creeks, turning over rocks, trying to, trying to find for it. And they might, they might partner to do some, uh, you know, weekend, uh, weekend activities, learn about the creeks and streams, things like that. Good, good stuff. Yeah, go, you can go. Yeah, actually, Wofford College ha has an environmental learning center um, along one of our creeks, and we do um, partner with them on a regular basis, and also um, USC Upstate has the Watershed Ecology Project, and we partner with them as well. And we have had um, an entomologist from Clemson come, and they, you know, and have, they have used the creeks to drag the, um, with little ice cube trays and drag and see, you know, what the quality of the water in the creek is. So... Things are happening and we just want to improve upon it. Thank you so much.